What is going on YouTube and welcome back to another video on my channel today It's a new series that we're starting today on the channel And this is a subscriber recommendation as we've just concluded Lucifer And I was looking to see what other episodes and TV programs to watch And somebody said Umbrella Academy and I've seen season 1 but I haven't seen season 2 So it's perfect start so why not watch it and upload it If you guys will enjoy it I'm sure I'll enjoy it because I've seen season 1 I know it was great and let's hope that season 2 is just as good so like I always say, if you've got any recommendations of shows to watch, please leave them below because as you can see, I do listen. And once this is concluded, your choice may be picked next. So thanks for everybody who's left comments on my channel before. Let's just jump right into it, the new season, and let's hope this is a fun one. Oh, I wonder where to get teleported to now. Exhilarating. Shit. Shit. Oh, they all fall in different years. Can't speak, can check. Oh, fucking hell, why so only? Mate, this TV show has some sick soundtracks. Where's this guy? Is he landed in the water? Uh... Oh, what's that? Visuals are sick though. Oh shit, he's got long hair now. Oh, no, she looks well different. Yo, they all look fucking sick. Can't tell me long hair doesn't look better. Looks sick. What the hell's going on here? There's no time to explain. Those are nukes, old timer. Oh, mate, they're gonna. <laughs> are they all gonna die again? And he's gotta go back and do the same thing. Mate, what a start to the season. That was fucking good introduction, that. To the world November 25th, 1963. So it is again. It's happened again. Another apocalypse. Well, who the hell are those guys? Run! Oh, he's not just killed himself. Well, I'll sacrifice himself. Hey, that is sick. <laughs> How'd you do that? Don't really have time to explain. You that fresh? <laughs> Your ass would fall out, wouldn't it? I've been tracking uh, anomalies in, in the atmosphere. Just waiting. Waiting for what? For you. It all started in 1960, the year the Silver Tone Omega was released. I'm guessing that he's seen the first Silo person land. Very... Same thing every time. Bright blue light and something appears. Did you get a good look at any of them? Yeah, the uh, first one and then the big sensitive one. Sensitive? They cried a lot, kept coming back to the alley. He sat around for hours calling a, a woman's name. Uh, Allison. Whatever, all right? I got 10 days to find them and save the world. Now I need your help to do that. You know, you know I, uh, I always thought that this uh, mug shot looked like arrival number four. Oh, it is one. Here you go. Last week you mentioned your father, how your whole childhood felt like some kind of experiment. It was an experiment. Hmm. Or did it just feel like an experiment? No, it was literally an experiment. Right, it looks like this Daigle's in some sort of psych ward. But like, why? <laughs> Hopefully we find out why. And like, how did he get there? And what's his purpose? And surely he could just leave. He's strong enough to, to get out. So I'm interested to see what his story is. He's all right through it. I totally ate that shit up. Hey. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're right. You don't, you don't understand. They're going to kill the president a week from today. Diego, I thought we moved past this. You know what a hero complex is? Yeah. 
It's for assholes who think they're this actual heroes. This paranoid fantasy but... about President Kennedy's what got you committed. Look, they are going to kill him. They're going to shoot him in the head. Oh, there you go. I'm guessing it's just answered my question that the way he's talking, he's probably tried to tell people that that president is going to get killed and they've just locked him up for being psycho because clearly no one's going to fucking believe anything that someone like that says. Right here. Fine, I can be very resourceful. Yeah, you would be the last person I would. <laughs> it's because of the jellos, right? You can have them back. No, it's not because of the jello. What are the lone wolves myself? Hey, mate. He needs a person as well, and he was in love with that cop, really, wasn't he? Uh, but she's just been killed. She could be his good side. Well, not a side piece, but, like, she could be the person that he needs. Like, she seems like she's got good banter so far. I think that these, uh, you know what, right, these are clicking really well so far. About time you showed up. How'd you know I'd be back? Because that's the kind of shit you pull. <laughs> Where are the others? Because we have to stop the apocalypse. No shit. But that's happened for another 60 years. Not to die of apocalypse. This is a new one. My brother is plotting an escape. The bars of his room have been shaved down. Piece of shit! No! Right! No. So, look, this is for your own good, dear. No, fine! Listen, my brother no, is a very sick man. Pray that he gets the help he so desperately needs. Oh, I wonder what his plan is. I fucking mate, five is a sick actor. Still no memories. Oh shit, she don't remember that she's got powers then or where she's from. Honestly, these guys are lucky that they got each other for all this time. Wow, look remember at his when beard. I told you the engine was overheating. Yeah, well, being smart doesn't make you interesting. Shit, you shit eat out! Get off! Yeah! God! <laughs> All my money's already in the pot. So in this city has gold necklace then. Nothing, by the way. He's got nothing. Okay, I'll put in the sissy necklace for the keys to your pickup. Oh, I thought that the guy was trying shit to him, but Well how? Kings over sevens. Oh well. Not nothing. Dear, the rights of every man are diminished. When the rights of one man. Oh shit, is she married? <laughs> she looks so different. <laughs> oh, she can speak as well. I only just. <laughs> like Luther then is is part of like a fighting ring uh, I'm saying like a betting scam sort of thing where he just fights say that person and he lasts a certain distance until someone says yeah go on you know like finish him and then obviously that guy gave him the nod there and he just took him out and I'm guessing they win money that way interesting oh do you reckon five is going to be at the door Guy's got his little shitty brown shoe inside Did the door. Did you just deliberately shut this door on my foot, boy? That's assault. Give me mad at what I'm getting there. Fucking dropping that myself. Good. Yeah, it did yeah, feel good. Idea. Fucking hate people like him. Stick up his ass for no reason. He annoyed me him. Oh shit, it's the guys in the future. <laughs> Wait for milk, don't you think? Oh, I imagine that. Like, fuck. no need in that, is there? A little silence will do the trick. What are you doing out here? Sleepwalking. Oh, it's... Hey. You're not the only one who wants out, Wolfman. Coming home now, right away. Oh. <laughs> Get your hands up now! Hey, you don't understand. Look, we're not the bad guys. Shut your mouth and stay on the ground. Oh, these two are sick together. She's too young for you. Nice to see you too, Luther. 
What do you want? For you to stop hovering like an ambitious stripper and sit down with me. I know what it's like to be stuck in time. Thinking this is how you're gonna live out the rest of your life. On the run. And not knowing if you're ever gonna see the people you love again. And to be in an unfamiliar world. We have to find the others because the world ends again in ten days. I don't give a shit. Didn't expect that one, did you? <laughs> okay, so that's the ending of episode one of season two. And we learn that there's going to be another apocalypse. It looks like the first two uh, people who was trying to recruit... I forgot her name, sorry, but... The, the first two people that was trying to re-recruit re five in the first season, uh, one died in the first explosion, the other one just died then, and he's got some like new assassins, um, and they're coming after them, and these ones look mean. <laughs> uh, they're just killing people in cold blood, the other people didn't do that. And then, obviously, you've got Diego, who seems to be locked up in a mental asylum, because he's... Uh, he was telling people that John F. Kennedy is getting killed and no one believe him. The connection he's got with that woman, I, I think oh, well, I'm loving it so far. They seem to click really well, so that seems to be good casting so far. Then you've got, um, I'm terrible with names, but you've got Ellen Page. She seems to have lost her memory. She's with that family, the one that found her at the start. Uh, five's trying to find everyone. You've got uh, Lufo's in a fighting ring. He looks like a bodyguard for somebody. Uh, who are we missing? we are missing oh and the one that had a, a throat cut she seems to be happily married now to um to a person in a racist time which is crazy so i'm interested to see how it goes like will people want to leave the families like the relationships they've established to go back into the present day or will they be able to successfully achieve the um you know the stopping of one the assassination of john f kennedy and the um the nuclear uh, nuclear bomb that's going to go off in the apocalypse 2.0 so yeah it's an interesting start to the season i enjoyed it i thought the acting was really good um in some scenes and i'm just going to jump right into the next episode so this is a good uh, introduction right into uh, season two I, I remembered people's well quite a few of the names and the storylines around each cap uh, each character and um, I'm looking forward to see how the storyline progresses. Now, hopefully, this season's better than season one. Not to say season one was bad, it was great, so, but you always want uh, the next season to be even better. So, it started off well, um, and let's hope it could progress from here. So, thanks everyone for checking out my channel, and as always, I'll catch you in the next video, guys. See ya.